Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and peeps, we're on the second last process video for this journal. I had forgotten about it. Uh, I, I had abandoned it for the next insert, which is skipped a few years and we're up to 2020, oh, uh, 2022, that's what we're up to. This is all the way back in 2019. Will I Traveler's Notebook the years in between 2019 and 2022? I don't know. For now, I'm going to continue with 2022, I think. And if I want to go back, I will. Um, but I'm about ready to be in the present. And I know we're a whole year after 2022, but um, I want to be in the present a bit more. And yeah, so we'll see how we go. But I have three pages left at the start of this insert and I had purposely left them uh, for Violet's birth, which happened in November 2019. And so I found this stack of photos that I, I must have double printed because I have scrapped these already. Uh, so I don't know why I have another set printed. It's, it's very curious, uh, but I am, yeah, and there seems to be duplicates. I don't know what's going on, um, but I've picked out which photos I want in these three spreads that I've got left. And today we're doing two. Uh, by the way, this is the video for Monday that never went up. Uh, and then, tomorrow you will get the video for Wednesday which will be the last page in this journal and the cover uh, so yeah we're, we're doubling journaling today <laughs> it's the end of the June marathon uh, it's the last week of school we've got we've got all sorts of things happening Archie's off to the ENT tomorrow it's it's a great time but the videos are still coming they just might not be at the usual 7 a.m upload time but that's okay so I obviously have too many photos for this page uh, and so I'm creating a tip-in. I'm doing the very professional uh, measurement there of just holding the paper up to the page and cutting a big strip that is a, a little bit less than the width of the page and a little bit shorter than the height of the page. And my trick is if with tip-ins you always need to make them narrower than the page because they will get stuck in the spine and as you chunk up your insert uh, the, the pages get a bit thinner and thinner as they go. So in this video I'm actually doing two different uh, types of uh, adhering your tip-in in. So this is ye old faithful that I usually do which is just putting a piece of washi tape on the front and a piece of washi tape on the back. I am definitely using extra tape because washi tape shall not be trusted ever. Its adhesive is a lie. Uh, and so I always put on double-sided tape on top of it. And I highly recommend anyone who was doing tip-ins like this to also do that. Um, or you may live your life riskily and dangerously and not. Um, but yeah, I feel like the extra tape is just support for the page. Uh, so then I'm putting a piece of washi tape on the inside. I chose a thick one uh, because I thought it would reach more on the page. This, this washi tape is thicker than my usual ones. And so I've got this photo of Violet and I, and I don't, you know, I'm not really caring about my shoulder uh, in this picture. So I'm okay with snipping it in half. However, this photo of Arch, I definitely don't want to snip anything off. So I'm going to stick that on the left side. And I just love his little look of bewilderment. Like, what is this alive doll that you've put in my hands? <laughs> Why is it so heavy and breathing? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, so I had to include that picture. And then I just, you know, chopped off my shoulder there. And again, chopping off a bit. I'm really not a fan of my arms in this spread, apparently. They're just not the main feature. Uh, I don't think my arms are the main feature in any journal page that I do. And, and if you have an arms feature in your journal, that's fine. But it's, it's not my feature for this one. Uh, I was going to stick this food down of chicken schnitzel. <laughs> because... Um, cause I had a C-section, I couldn't eat the day that Violet was born. Uh, and so I had to stop eating the night before. So I didn't have breakfast and she was born about, oh, she was born pretty early. She was born about 11, something like that in the morning. And afterwards, um, after I went through the, you know, two hours of recovery and got back up to the room, 
Uh, they brought us lunch and I have never been so happy to see a chicken schnitzel in my life. I was very excited. Um, I think I was also slightly uh, very, very much medicated. Um, and I had the munchies a little bit because of all of the painkillers that they had given me and I was just starving. Um, so that chicken schnitzel meant a lot <laughs> on the November 8th, 2019. Uh, and so I was going to include that, but it just, it just didn't fit the vibe. Just like my upper arms didn't fit the vibe, either did the chicken schnitty and that's okay. The chicken schnitty would have made it into the Project Life album. So it, it got its, it's got its moment of shining glory. So while I've been talking about schnitzel, uh, I'm sticking down some washi tape. I had um, a bit of an awkward gap down the bottom here and you could see the text from the previous page. And so I just wanted to cover it up with a cute washi. I'm obsessed with those little heart, uh, sorry, not heart, these little flower washi tape flakes, I guess they could be, uh, that come off and that's by the brand Band, Bandy. I really need to work out how you say this brand because every journaling video I mention it. Um, it's B-A-N-D-E. Does anyone know how to say it? Let me know in the comments. Is it Bandy or Band? Um, also stuck down some crepe paper, little stars, and then I had this entire sticker sheet of Easter and Easter isn't, I don't have an entire um, albums worth of Easter photos. So I don't really warrant an entire sticker sheet. And so I have been trying to use the non Eastery ones, the ones that don't say like, here's an egg or something. Um, not that any of them say that, but you know what I mean? The, the blatantly obvious Easter ones, uh, I've been trying to use them for other things. So this one said happy Easter and I just chopped off the Easter and left it as happy. Um, wow, we've got a lot of noisy birds outside at the moment. I'm recording this at eight o'clock at night and the plovers are going nuts. Um, a little fun fact, plovers are evil. Uh, if you've ever seen, if you're non-Australian, they are our evil bird and they will swoop you and loudly mock you as they do so. Um, so if you ever see a plover, don't go near it. Don't go near it. They're very territorial. I don't usually hear them at night time though, so someone must be making them angry. Maybe the bats. We have bats. I'm not a fan of bats. They're very squeaky. I, I'm not a fan of noisy animals. Dogs, <laughs> plovers, <laughs> bats. Um, thank goodness moths and butterflies don't make noises because, oh boy, that would bring them up to a whole new level. Um, oh, that sends shivers down my spine just thinking about it. Anywho, on to topic of the page. Uh, if this is your first video watching, I, I welcome you. Um, and I also should warn you, we are full of tangents over here in Inky land. We love a good tangent. And my brain often comes up with them um, randomly in every single video multiple times. So in, in, it's probably not the last tangent that you've heard. You've still got a few minutes left in the video. But back on track, um, I feel like the hip hop hooray was kind of appropriate because it was off that Easter sheet, of course, and bunnies, you know, hip and hop and stuff. But Violet was actually born uh, to the sweet mellow tunes of a random hip hop playlist that my uh, pediatrician put on because she knew I liked hip hop and she'd asked previously. And so she found a random Spotify playlist and the three songs that were on when Violet was born, jazz hands. Um, so she was born, I can't remember specifically, I think, you know, because when you have a C-section, a lot's happening. The, the process takes a while. They, they have to do a lot of things. So the three songs were So Fresh and So Clean by Outkast. <laughs> um, no, yes, it was. Or was it Miss Jackson? No, it was Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson Outcast, um, the song with Busta Rhymes and Mariah Carey, um, baby, if you give it to me, I give it to you, know what you want, you know that one, and um, Let Me Blow Your Mind by Eve and Gwen Stefani. And so I, I don't know if there's any children that have been born to those songs um, before, there probably is somewhere in the world, but I felt like the hip hop hooray was appropriate because she was hip hopped into this world. That's, um, that's for shizzle. <laughs> oh, I'm so lame. All right. On to the next page. So I had these, uh, horizontal photos and I, 
I love horizontal photos usually in my project life. However, they do irk me a lot when I'm trying to get them in my traveler's notebook. So another tip in it shall be, and this one, uh, I picked this paper that I detest. <laughs> I look, I like it as a paper. I don't like it for scrapbooking because bows are like bees. I don't know how to use them properly in my scrapbooking pages. And I feel like oh, I just, I need to do a photo of Violet with a bow dress or something, but I just really struggle with bows. They, they, they are a lot in embellishments and I always feel like when I stick them on, they're just like plonked there. Uh, so I decided to use them in here because, you know, babies, bows, I thought they kind of went together. <laughs> uh, and so I have done a, let's call this a, a hinge, a paper hinge. I'm going to call this technique for this tip in and all I did was folded the paper and adhered on the outside of the paper and stuck it down and then I stuck my photo uh, over the top of the hinge so that it was extra secured onto the, the journal page. So this one has a lot of photos and like I said this you know the birth of Violet was documented a lot in my project life uh, and I was quite delirious for the first day. Um, I was in bed for two days and when I did get out of bed, I passed out. So after two days, <laughs> and so the first two days were a bit of a blur. I don't have a huge amount of memories of it. Um, it was nice. I just remember she was quiet, like a lot quieter than Arch was, uh, and she slept a lot, but she was born almost four weeks before Arch because he was, she was two weeks early and he was almost two weeks overdue. And so I could just notice in their temperament that um, they were different, like he was a lot more alert and vocal and just has always been, <laughs> maybe I should have been warned when he was so alert and vocal um, from the get-go. But Violet was just happy to snooze and just chill out and still pretend that she was inside my tummy. Um, but I added a floral there cause there was a bit of a, a bit of a space and it needed covering up and the leaves do caress up, uh, Aaron's cheek in there, but they don't look like he has like a, a fungus growing out of his hair. So it's okay. Um, so I, I feel like I could get away. Sometimes I worry about overlapping clear stickers onto photos of people because it can look like they're growing things out of their face and stuff, but I think we can get away with it. So jazz hands, we're done. This has been a super tangenty one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so there will be two videos up tomorrow. There's an inky quill. There's a long and chatty inky quill. It's over half an hour um, of all of my current scrappy projects and another journal with me, which will be up and then we can do the cover and I will hopefully try to squeeze in the flip through. We'll see how we go um, in another video soon. But thanks for watching today, peeps. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you like the flippity flaps and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.